I just got done testing a bunch of air dusters and I wanted to test the RPMs of the fan on the air dusters. So I use this. There's one limitation with this that you need to know. But before I talk about that, let me just talk about how this works and how I verified how accurate it is. It does come with some reflective tape that you can use. It also comes with three AAA batteries, but let me go ahead and show you how this works. So it has this on off button. You just press it to turn it on. And right now it's measuring RPM, but if I press this button, it will do a count. So if I want to count how many fingers I have, we got four fingers. So every time I move my fingers above that, it will count all of the fingers. If I just go back and forth really quick, it's just going to count my fingers. The way this works is it has a laser that is basically reflecting back what's going going on. So that's how it counts the RPM and how it does the count. How I use this on the air dusters is you could put a sticker on like this and that would reflect back. The air dusters had metal on the back. So what I ended up doing is I got a permanent marker and I just colored everything but just a single sliver because the way this seems to work is it recognizes when something is the same and when something is different. So as long as you have everything black, then it has something that's different, that silver sliver, then it will recognize it as an RPM and register it here. And the reason I know this is accurate, or at least I think this is accurate, is I actually got a formula for calculating the RPMs of a fan by getting the hertz or the audio frequency of the blades as it spins. Multiply that by 60, divide that by the number of blades that it has. And you can see here on my spreadsheet the difference between this meter and what I got by measuring the tone of the blade fans. And they're both pretty consistent. So I am confident that this tachometer is reliable and accurate. The main thing though that you need to be aware of is it does have a limitation of 100,000 RPMs. And I looked on Amazon and basically every single tachometer has that same limitation. I think there are some that go beyond that. They're significantly more expensive, but as long as you're measuring something under 100,000 RPMs, you should be fine. The other thing to be aware of this with this tachometer is if I go like this, there is a min and max. So I can cycle through this, got the max, got the min. And then if you just want it to stop, you can press hold and it will stop where it's at so that you have a good reading. Pretty basic, really simple to use, really nice tachometer.